Tilly. Hi. <laughs> I'm the ward manager for postnatal ward, Samson. And I've got a first year student uh -huh. who will be showing you. Her name is Emma. Hi, She'll Emma. be showing Hi. you around the bay. Great, thank you. So this is one of our bays. Okay. We have four beds and four cots. Um, Giuseppe has got plans in progress for refurbishment, which will mean that we'll see three beds with an ensuite. Um, and also hopefully some more single beds as well. That will help with privacy and um, just the women feeling more comfortable and nicer to care for them. Also with having more single bed bays, um, that will help when we have requests uh, for women who would like to have their own space. Yeah. This is our milk kitchen. This is where we have every facilities for the mother. Either it's a breastfeeding or bottle feeding. We do respect those choices. If they are expressing for the babies, we've got a separate room with breast pumps. For those mothers who are planning to formula feed, we've got kettles here and we've got fridge as well, where they can uh, make their formulas and feed their babies. On a daily basis, the ward works because we have women with complex needs who come into this unit. We see them, we do a postnatal check, they stay longer if need be. We also carry out a neonatal baby check on the babies and these are done by midwives who are trained with those qualifications and pediatricians as well. Once they leave the ward, the women then are being taken over by the community team. So some babies after birth may need to come to the resuscitator for some extra support and all babies before discharge will come here for a newborn infant physical examination, otherwise known as the NIPE. This involves a thorough examination of baby, checking of the eyes and the reflexes in the eyes, listening to the valves in the heart and doing a thorough heart check. We'll also be checking the testes for boys and we'll also be checking the hips for any dislocation or dislocatable hips. And we'll undertake a thorough top to toe examination of the baby as well. So if you have a home birth, it can either be take, undertaken by the community midwives that are trained in the community at your own home, or if there's any need for any paediatric input, or if there's nobody in the community that can do it, you will come into the birth centre or to Sampson Ward for that to be undertaken. But generally it will be undertaken at home after a home birth. Mm -hmm.